Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to be going over part two of the custom mailbox build. If you'll remember from the end of part one, basically we were able to design and build the framework of the mailbox. Uh, got it all welded up and then went ahead and gave it a quick coat of primer. And now we're going to take it from that prime position and finish it off. So let's get to it. Okay, so again, you'll remember from the end of part one of this series, we completed the mailbox frame, as you can see here, and hit it with a coat of primer. And now we're going to go ahead and install the adjustable feet on the bottom of the mailbox. So for the feet of the mailbox, I purchased a nutsert tool, which you can see me using here, um, to put some threaded inserts into the bottom of the frame. Basically, you just drill a hole out and then use this tool to press in the threaded insert and then unscrew it. Uh, in this case, they were quarter 20 um, adjustable feet that just threaded right into the quarter 20 nutserts. Um, I have a whole video on this as well, and I'll put a card for it here in the video so you can go check that out if you want. Next step, we're going to cut up some hardy backer board to put on the outside walls of the mailbox. There are three by five sheets of party backer board, so ended up taking four sheets. Um, quite a bit of waste, but got a full solid panel on either side, or on all sides. Um, and then we use some of the scraps for the top as well. Definitely recommend wearing a mask when trying to cut this with a saw. It creates a very fine dust and probably not good to be breathing. Okay, so now that we've got those four pieces cut, we're going to go ahead and line up the first one. So I laid this out so that the two sides um, are overhung by the front and back, if that makes sense. Um, and so the, basically the two sides are the exact width of the frame, and then the front and back are an extra inch longer to cover up the half inch hardy backer. I'm just using some self-tapping drywall screws to anchor this to the frame about every foot. You'll see at the top of the mailbox, I've got about three or four inches of overhang. I'm going to go ahead and cut that off with a vibrating saw later. And at the bottom, you can't see, but I've got about a quarter of an inch of reveal there to allow for some adjustment of the feet up and down so that basically that will almost sit perfectly flat on the ground um, once I get the feet adjusted the way I want them. So you can see I've just got that piece of quarter inch scrap plywood that I'm using to hold that reveal on the bottom edge there. Here you can see what I was talking about with the corners earlier, the pieces being an inch longer, so that front piece here that I just put on is overhanging the two sides frame, but it's flushed out with the finish of the hardy backer board. sides and the front off for now. I'm going to leave the back off so that I can insert the mailbox from the back side. Um, this is going to allow me to mark out exactly where I need to cut the hole out for the front and also give me some added access in the box. 
So just like in the first video, unfortunately the GoPro camera battery died while I was doing the cutouts for this. But again, I just took a uh, vibrating saw or a, like a multi-tool um, with a rounded blade and was able to trim off the top and then also cut out the hole for the actual mailbox to sit into the front frame. Something important to keep in mind here, really when you're building a frame, is I left an extra eighth of an inch in both directions, vertical and horizontal, in that mailbox hole um, to allow me a little bit of play, but mostly for some J-Metal, which is going to kind of frame out the mailbox and act as the transition between the actual mailbox and the hardy backer board um, to give the stucco something to uh, line up again so it's not physically attached to the mailbox. Okay, so now that we've got the box completely assembled, uh, hardy backer board on, got the actual mailbox in its position, uh, we're gonna go ahead and talk about the concrete pad that we're gonna put this on. Okay, so this mailbox in the finish, that's with stucco on, plan to be 24 by 24 square. So I went ahead and framed up with some scrap 2x4, a 2 foot by 2 foot concrete pad. Um, we've got it, it's about 8 inches deep. And we went ahead and put in a couple of conduits that uh, sweep out to the back. And those are just for future electrical or security items. We might add some lights to this or maybe a camera um, in the future and so we wanted to have that ability to run that wire later without you know having to chip out concrete or cut a hole in the back of the box and what we're actually going to do is put an access panel on the back side of the mailbox so that we can get into that cavity um, to run those wires if we ever need to. I believe this was four, four and a half, 90 pound bags of ready mix. Um, we weren't, you know, super clean with the digging out underneath the footing there, um, but ultimately we wanted to give the mailbox a nice sturdy base and, you know, give it some, some weight um, in case something were to, you know, run into the box. It's not really gonna go anywhere. This probably goes without saying, but obviously you want this concrete pad to be level, which may or may not match your curb. In our situation, the curb is, you know, parallel to the street surface, and that is at a pretty good grade, actually. Um, so we've got about a half an inch of deflection in this two feet of concrete pad. It's kind of hard to see in the picture here, but the right side of the pad is about a half an inch lower than the left side of the pad relative to the top of the curtain. Now, you know, we, we want to get this as level as possible, but we did install those adjustable feet on the bottom of the mailbox, and that's going to give us a little extra breathing room, right, if our concrete is not quite perfect. Um, once we get the box set on here, we can adjust those feet individually, and then we're actually going to use some um, 5 inch long by 3 8 inch wedge anchors, one in each corner anchor the mailbox frame down to this concrete pad. Um, so once we get it all adjusted, we'll drop the wedge anchors in and then tighten those down so the feet will be in compression against the concrete and the bottom of the mailbox frame. So once the concrete was set up, we went ahead and stripped the forms away and uh, set the box on top of the pad. Tried to get it nice and level using the feet and then went ahead and all those wedge anchors. We'll need a hammer drill of some kind to uh, set those anchors or drill the holes for the anchors to set into. We could have done some preset anchors, um, but we had the drill. It's just easier to do it after the fact. Here's a shot of the box from the back side, and you can see we went ahead and cut in this uh, access panel here. This is a stainless steel access panel that we had left over from another project. Um, but I will link something similar in the description below along with all of the other tools, equipment, and materials 
uh, that we use to produce this mint box. So the only thing left to do now is have someone come out and put some stucco on it. Um, we're actually going to have them form a cap as well with some foam and then you know top it off with uh, some additional concrete to kind of round it out. And this is what the finished product looked like after it was completely stuccoed. They've got a band of um, bullnose foam going around the top and then they just uh, freehand poured the uh, cap there to kind of come to a, a center peak. Here's a look at the inside. You can see the wedge anchor bolts in the corners there and then those future conduits sticking up inside. I'll go ahead and uh, open up the box for you. Door opens nice. Got the mail spot there and then the drop off area up top. And that's it. That's the completed mailbox. Much better looking than the one that was there before. So that's going to do it for this video and the mailbox series itself. I think the all-in mailbox cost came to about $750 between the steel and the concrete, hardy backer board, someone to come out and stucco it, etc. Um, and, you know, looking them up online, you can buy a pre assembled one that's not installed obviously for upwards of a thousand dollars so I think uh, this was a good build overall I know mailboxes aren't really the flashiest thing in the world but uh, you know everybody has one so anyway that's gonna do it for this video hopefully this was insightful and helpful and if it was please consider subscribing to the channel and definitely give us a like and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, everyone.